Hi guys, I am doing a video today comparing my three baby jogger strollers. And I just realized I had the belly bar on my city select instead of the tray. And I think the tray is actually packed up because I prefer the belly bar to the tray. But these are all three baby jogger strollers. Um, this black one, all black one is my new city mini. The one in the middle with the green liner is my City Select. And the one over there is, um, with the like teal liner is my City, or my, yeah, City Versa. But they have now changed it to City Premier, I believe is what the new style is. They retired the Versa and came out with the Premier. It's the exact same frame. There was very minor changes made to them, so I don't know why they just didn't make the changes, but they completely renamed it. Um, the Aqua Pad actually is what the Premier has in its seat. Um, I purchased it for my Versa. I just realized my Versa is all put down. And my City Select seat, but the rest is all the way up. And that green one on my Select is actually um, one I purchased a Chinese bag. I got a now they're a little more even um I purchased it off a of wish I believe um so let's kind of get started with the comparisons first of all you can see the city select and the city versa are very 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 similar and how they look compared to the city mini the city mini to me is more of like a walking um going on to the mall type you're gonna stay on sidewalks your city select you can actually change into a double stroller I've done videos before on the city select I've done videos sorry guys the neighbors AC kicked in um, I've done videos before on each one separately but I just kind of wanted to do a general comparison so if you're in the market and you're like I know for for a fact I want a baby jogger but which model do I want? Um, they also do not have the City Select Luxe Edition. And from what I've seen, in all honesty, personally, I wouldn't pay the extra amount to get the Luxe. Because the only feature that the Luxe that I can see has that the City Select does not have, you can add on in the back, like almost like a sit and stand. There's a spot in the back you can add where there's like a little board that a child can sit behind the seat. You can't put that on the City Select. It's only for the Lux frame. That's the only option, and I personally wouldn't even use that. Um, one thing I do want to get for my strollers, though, is I want to get the Baby Jogger Boogie Board. Um, you hook it to the back of any of the Baby Jogger strollers. You can use it on other strollers as well, but it makes it not a sit and stand, well, it kind of makes it a sit and stand, but it has a spot on the back that's just like a board that another child can stand on as you push. Um, and then you can kind of kick it up and it'll attach, it'll kind of kick. If you don't want it down, you can push it up and then have the stroller just as a stroller. And then if the child needs it, you can pull it down again. Um, I'm kind of looking for one of those, give or take. I don't want to spend too much on one, so I haven't pulled the trigger. I found a few locally. And by the time I contacted them, they were already sold. So, um, these are the three strollers. Um, the one, the, the City Mini and the Versa fold pretty similarly. The City Select is what folds differently. The City Mini, as I've shown before, you have the strap in the center and you just pull and it folds. The City Select the city select you've got these two spots on the side over here it says fold you pull them up and this the frame will fold down and then the premier the versa there is a cord back here i'll have to turn it around hopefully you guys can see it it's kind of similar to the city mini but not um, 
there's this red cord back here that says pull to fold and you just yank up on it and it should fold down this one has been in storage for a while oh i forgot you gotta fold that first then you can see the, the fold cord better forgot you had to fold the seat down first this one has actually been in storage for a little bit i haven't used it that one has been in my garage I haven't used it in a while. I haven't, since this corona stuff, I haven't been able to take any of my babies out. But you just pull, and that one folds like that. And then to unfold it, you just do this. The City Select and the City Versa, or the Premier, both of them use the same adapters. So they're universal for these two models and the City Lux. The City Mini and a few other baby joggers that are similar to the City Mini have different adapters for um, like the car seats and such. The City Select and the Premier Versa, both of them you can turn the seats around. The City Mini you cannot. It is one way. The thing I love about the Versa and the Premier for folding, I can still fold. So I have to hit it right though. Um, you can still fold it down with the seat facing backwards. I like that idea when I was traveling, um, like when I went to Minneapolis, when we were getting inside, in and out of um, the shuttle van for the hotel. I didn't have to take the whole stroller apart and keep putting this piece up and down when we go places because I had my baby facing me pretty much the whole time. And then it just turns around. The City Select, the City Lux, and the Premier all have different types of seats. Um, but, um, but they can all interchange with each other. So I can get a City, I can put a City Lux seat on my front of this one. I can put one on this one, I can put this seat on that, I can put that seat on this because they all have the same adapters. Um, so that's that that's nice. The City Select for like the belly bar and like I said, I didn't even think about this but it's a pain in the butt to change things around on the City Select. That is one downside that I have to the whole City Select. The City Versa and the Premier, this is how easy it is to take the tray on and off. Same goes for the City Mini. There's just these two little clips on the side. You press them in and it pops off. So the trays are accessories. They don't come with the stroller, so you don't need them, but you can get them. I like the placement of the tray on the City Mini. It doesn't seem too high. My complaint about the City Versa is that tray sits up so high. And it kind of sits forward a lot. So I'm like, the tray is more meant for like a child than like a uh, older infant or a toddler, in my opinion. This one sits nicely. There's still enough room, like if a child slides down, their head's not going to get caught. But that to me, I do not care for the tray on that one. I have a belly bar for my City Versa. Once again, I think it's in storage somewhere. This one, I only have the tray. But the thing with the city select, with the tray and such, to take and change them, like, I can pop, oh, where is it? There's the buttons that you can rotate it so you can have them up or down. To get the child out with the belly bar, ugh, I cannot get it done right now, there we go. Um, it's got like a double, it's got a button and then a push so a child just can't push out. But the thing that I do not like about this stroller is in order for me to change it to the tray, I need to pull this, I need to take the seat completely off, I need to compress the button down here, I need to slide this piece out on both sides, and then I need to slide and push the buttons in again. I wish they would have done something kind of similar to the Versa where it was just a little slot to slide in where I don't have to keep 
moving this in and out. Although when the tray is on this one, the tray is closer than how this tray is. Um, these two have baby jogger um, parent councils on them. These are accessories. Um, my baby, my City Select also has the City Select parent cup holder, which is an accessory. Um, this one has another brand on it. Um, I only have two of the City Select or the Baby Jogger things. Um, these are the older styles with the snaps. I prefer them to like these Velcro ones, in all honesty. Handlebars, all of them have this rubberized handlebar. All of their strollers do. Um, this one is kind of broken apart, but this is the oldest of the three. Um, the City Mini, the handlebar is as is. It does not scope. It does not extend out. It is what it is. The City Premier and the City Versa, the handlebar, this is the older style, so the Versa has the handlebar that goes down. I can push it down like this. These handlebars like that go down like this are awesome for shorter people, um, people of little stature, or just me, like I'm a shorter person, but they can extend up to a comfortable height for my husband. This isn't really comfortable for me, but this is a nice comfortable height for my husband who is six foot. And then to fold it up though, you gotta make sure it's in its kind of flush position. Otherwise it doesn't fold nicely. So when I go to store it again. Um, the City Select, this is the newer style. There's this button here, I push it in and it just scopes up and slides down. So it'll scope up and slide down. And then it just slides into the sides of the frame. The City Versa and the Select, both of them have these brakes on the side that you just push in like that to lock the wheels. To unlock, you pull up and flip, pull up, flip. The City Mini does not have that option. It's almost similar when you see it on the frame, it's similar to like a bike brake. This just has a step and then a toggle to push it in. All baby jogger strollers for storage their wheels come off easily. This is one thing I love about Baby Jogger. Like I said, this one was actually stored in my attic. So I didn't even have the wheels on until I did the video. You just push the gray button, wheel comes off. I can also, between my City Versa and my City Select, switch the wheels if I wanted to. The City Select has these bigger wheels in the back than the Versa. I could flop wheels if I really wanted to. I'd have to change all of them to keep them even so it's not like the stroller sitting too far forward or too far backward on the frame. But you can change the wheels on them. I There's pros and cons to all of them. If this is like if you're having your first child and you plan on having more, I personally would go with the City Select or the Lux if you want the options that the Lux has just because it is more versatile, like right now it's in a single stroller mode. If I wanted it in a double stroller mode, all I have to do is pop off these caps. There's one on this side too. And there's adapters that slide right into there. And those adapters sit up a little higher and they have these same connectors. This seat can go up one level, so I have the little plugs in right now. But you would move this seat up a level and then you can attach the second seat down there you can put this seat down there so you have that there and you can add an adapter for a car seat up here so it makes it more options with the city select um, you can have two bassinets on it you can have one bassinet one seat one bassinet one car seat you can have um, just different and I won't say endless possibilities but there's there's more than just like my city versa if you have if you only have one child you only plan on ever having one child or it's your last child you might want to go with the premiere where it is just for a single child it is just a single stroller it does have a nicer fold feature like I said you just 
come back here, fold the seat down. My hand's too small. Find the button. There's just these little buttons in the back of the seat. You can press them in, it folds up, you grab the cord and you pull. And you can carry it at that point when you pull. This one, you have to take the seat off. You can collapse it with the seat on, but like if you're gonna travel, you basically have to dismantle the seat like at the airport. You would need a travel bag with it um, at the airport. That is the only downside to the city select. So I would, if you're gonna be traveling a lot, depending upon where you're gonna go, I would invest in a like cheap stroller just for the airport also because of how expensive these are. I don't really trust airlines. Um, I bought this one, the City Mini for travel because it's so easy. I'm not gonna use a four, well, I will be using it for my children, but they're not gonna ride in it. My children are older, but going through the airport for the first time, they will be, um, like the stuff that they have to carry for their carry-on. I know I'm going to end up carrying it around. I know they're not going to want to carry their drinks. So I needed something that wasn't, I got it secondhand. It wasn't too expensive. It would be a nice stroller to carry their weight. All of them carry a decent amount of weight. The City Mini is 50 pounds. I believe the City Select is 50 pounds per uh, seat. And I think the Versa is 50 or 60 pounds. Um, the Versa we actually took to SeaWorld last year, and my son, who is was close to 70 pounds at the time, he, he sat in it at one point because he was getting blisters on his feet. He climbed in, and he actually sat in the City Versa, and we were able to push him around no problem. The stroller wasn't struggling. It wasn't like some of those strollers, like I know Graco, I, I know people love the Graco strollers. I have like the Quattros and some of their other more ex inexpensive Graco strollers throughout my kid's lifetime. And you weren't even at the max weight and they were struggling like to push. Um, I've not had that issue with either of these two pushing my kids in that are actually over the weight limit. Um, another, if you're looking for another stroller company that kind of has high weights and it, it's not horrible if you go over the weight limit are Bob's. So, if you've got an old, if you've got a child, especially with special needs, these are great strollers. In fact, um, this, the baby jogger or the city select frame is actually used for a wheelchair. They have a seat that uh, I can't remember what company makes it, but it's it's on a baby jogger frame, and it's a seat specially designed, a wheelchair chair seat specially designed for the city select. I've even seen a few people have that wheelchair seat. They have the wheelchair seat on the second level and they have the adapters in the front and they have a neurotypical child in the front that doesn't, that needs a stroller still, but doesn't need the, the support of a wheelchair because the wheelchair seat actually is very nice in that sense. Like it's got the supports where supports need to be. It still has like the beautiful love. This is the other feature I love about Baby John, that all of their hoods are trifold. The City Select is the shortest of all of them. I know it's getting dark out, guys. Let me get to this earlier. The City Mini has the best, to me, coverage for a sunshade. The City Select has a decent, but the City Select, you can also purchase additional um, pieces that zip in. I've actually got the bug cover. Um, the, the bug cover that zips on that can offer some like additional coverage. It actually has an SPF in it. I've, um, and then the City Versa is decent as well. But the City Mini, if you're looking for sun coverage, it's the best um, travel. I would use the City Mini over those two just because you can fold it with one hand, carry it with that handle. Um, I'm thinking like, you know, you're, you're going down the walkway to the airplane you can still have your child sitting in the stroller. These two you will just have to disassemble, just take them apart at the gate. Um, the City Select for sure you have to take apart at the gate. The City Versa when I traveled with it, I didn't have to take it apart at the gate. I was able to walk down that ramp to the plane with it and then collapse it down there. 
but you had to unload everything and you needed two hands to collapse it and fold it up and everything. The city select, you'll need a travel bag with it because to fold it up, I wouldn't trust an airline without a travel bag with it. Baby Jogger does make a travel bag. Um, they make one for the City Mini, and then they make one that fits the Versa and the City Select where you can put all the pieces in. You do need to take the wheels off when you do that. So like I said, once again, you get to the gate, you disassemble your stroller, you put it in the bag. Now you got to carry that bag down the runway or the walkway and put it at the check-in for strollers, the gate check strollers. So to me, that's a little more cumbersome. This one, like I can just walk down the runway when I get closer. I can pull baby out, hold baby with one hand. Okay, pick up baby, holding it with one hand. I can just fold it up and it's lightweight too. Of the three, this is the lightest weight stroller. I can carry it by the handle. I can set it down. I can pick it up or I can set it down. Oh, I locked the front wheel again. I keep doing that. Um, so you fold it down, it wants to fold down, it's hard to do upside down, there we go, now it'll fold down, it'll fold down. it folds down pretty nicely, I can pick it up, and it's already locked, so I'm good to go, I can just set it down, they can take it, now when I come back to the runway, or I come back off the airplane, we're done, can still hold baby yeah you got to lean down but you undo the latch set it up I just propped it up with my leg now it's completely up again and I can sit baby in and I'm still in that walkway I don't have to drag it anywhere I know with the city versa when I got to Minneapolis I had a direct flight from Austin to Minneapolis in Austin I was able to walk down that walkway and fold it up and then send it on that way. When I got to Minneapolis, I literally had to, I'm carrying my bag, I have my backpack, I have my carry-on bag, and I traveled with a doll, so my doll was actually in my carry-on bag. But I had to drag my stroller to the gate, set my stuff down to open it up, because I needed two hands to open it up. This one you can do just one-handed. So that's what makes it nicer. Um, one thing also with all baby joggers, they have um, shoulder strap covers on the harnesses and then they have crotch buckle on all of them. You can see the City Select the best since it's on that green. Um, the City Select comes in a bunch of different colors. It comes in a black frame similar to my Versa or you can get the silver frame. Um, and the covers you can get in a variety of different colors. I got mine second hand, so I got black. Black is the most common. So that's kind of why I put that green liner in just for a pop of color. All baby joggers, once again, um, their covers snap on and off, which is the rivets and snaps. So they're easy to clean. Um, this one I'm actually going to take apart and clean again because my cat decided to use it. And she's got stuff, I don't even know, like eye boogers on it from cats. Her allergies are bad. Um, all three of these, I've done that. You can throw them in the wash. You don't drive. The backboard and the seats on all of them are a nice corrugated plastic. They're not corrugated cardboard, and they're not um, particle board that a lot, way too many baby manufacturers use that stupid corrugated cardboard or particle board. Babies get wet, babies are messy, babies have spit up, babies have blowouts, babies have spill from the bottle. So when they designed the baby jogger lines, they took that in mind, like these covers need to easily come off and wash, and we need something sturdy and stable, but something that's not going to rot. Um, or if it gets wet, it's going to disintegrate. So I actually love all three of my baby joggers I will probably never get rid of them um, oh and baskets the city select has the biggest basket of the three the city mini has a pretty decent sized basket for the stroller it is
City Select has a pretty good basket as well. This one actually has the best. It actually, you can unzip it for extenders as well and make the basket actually bigger. And the Versa. See, this is the other thing with the City Select. Like, you have to get down and then you got to take it apart and put it together. And then City Versa has a decent sized basket. It's a little bit bigger than the City Minis, but it's smaller than the City Selects, but it's still bigger than a lot of strollers out there that I have seen. So I hope everyone enjoyed this kind of comparison. I know I apologize for getting dark out. I was hoping to get this done sooner, but my kids did not want to go to bed. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you on the next video. Bye.